gonna show you guys how to make cheese broccoli using fresh broccoli okay i done a video on how to make cheese broccoli before but that was a video that was on my old channel so i'm going to be doing a updated version okay what you're going to do first is you're going to get your broccoli and you're going to remove this part here okay Move that part there. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just pull each broccoli off like that. And you're gonna remove these here, just remove them. Just break every floor of broccoli off like that so now we chopped our broccoli into broccoli florets okay those are our broccoli florets that's what we wanted to look now we're going to get ready to cook them Okay guys, so you're gonna get a pan and you're gonna place it over medium heat. Then you're gonna add some water to the pan. And we're gonna wait until the water comes to a boil you. Then we're gonna add our broccoli florets. Okay, so our water has come to a boil you, so we're gonna add our broccoli now. And we're not going to cook these very long. Some people steam their broccoli, but I just boil you it in water for a very short period of time. So we're going to add our broccoli. Right. We're only going to cook them for a few minutes. We don't want them to be super tender to the point where that lint. We want them to be rather firm, but at the same time, tender. All right. It's not gonna take these very long. They will change a bit in color. Okay guys, so they're done. You want to cut your fire off and then you're going to remove the water. Like I said, you don't want to cook these very long because you don't want them to be lint. Okay, so I'm going to remove the water and then we're going to season them very lightly with some salt, garlic powder and pepper. Okay, so we're going to season them with some salt. Not too much, just by the about half a teaspoon about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and some pepper and it's going to continue cooking a little bit because of the heat from the pan, it's going to continue cooking it a little while longer, so they'll definitely be tender enough. Okay guys, so now we're going to focus on our cheese sauce. What you're going to do is you're going to get a pot, you're going to place it over medium heat, and you're going to add your margarine or butter. Then you're going to add your flour and you're going to stir that in until the color of the flour changes. Stir that in.
That's the color you want your flower to be. Okay. Then you're gonna add your milk. You're gonna stir in your milk. We'll stir that in really well. Stirring the flour. Then you're going to add your cheese. You're going to stir this until the cheese melts into a nice cheese sauce. And that is pretty much it. Don't take long at all. You're going to cut your fire off. Only took a few minutes. Look at that nice cheese sauce. Ah! Mm, 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 mm. Alright guys, so now we're going to pour the cheese over the broccoli. And we're going to sprinkle some more shredded cheddar on top of the broccoli. Just like that there. Okay, so I just cut the fire on to low heat and we're going to cover the broccoli with the top and we're going to cook it a little more until the cheese on top melts. Then you're all done. So that's our cheese broccoli. Let's plate it now. Here's our broccoli. Hope you enjoy. Peace.